Hey everybody, how's it going? Matthew Kadish here, author of the Earthman Jack Space Saga, available over on Amazon.com. And by the power of Skull, we are talking about the big news that He-Man is about to be resurrected in anime form over on Netflix. And uh, not only that, but Kevin Smith, the independent filmmaker that you may know from such films as Clerks and uh, the Jay and Silent Bob movies, uh, is coming in to be the head writer on it. So we talk about all that and more in today's video. I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, so moving on, uh, we've got some big news here. And uh, I made a video on this a little while back, and my predictions were totally wrong because I did not take into account that Kevin mm -hmm. Smith might be doing uh, an animated feature. Uh, Smith had kind of teased that he was uh, going to be involved in a quote-unquote nostalgic IP uh, that uh, everyone was uh, uh, knowledgeable about and that he was going to be the showrunner slash head writer for it. And I assume that because of his association with like Supergirl and The Flash, that he was going to be doing a Craig Berlanti uh, CW superhero show. I kind of uh, guessed that it was going to be Booster Gold. I was completely wrong. Turns out that Kevin Smith is uh, going to be working with Netflix to bring back He-Man and the Masters of the Universe as an animated slash anime series. So this comes from Variety. It says, Kevin Smith announces anime He-Man series for Netflix. Kevin Smith surprised audience, audiences at Sunday's annual PowerCon convention by announcing a new anime He-Man series for Netflix. The new series, titled Masters of the Universe Revelation, will take place in the Mattel toy-inspired world and will focus on some of the unresolved storylines of the classic 80s show. Smith will serve as showrunner and executive producer. I'm eternally grateful to Mattel TV and Netflix. Netflix for entrusting me with not only the secrets of Grayskull, but also their entire universe, Smith said. In Revelation, we will pick up right where the classic era left off to tell an epic tale of what may be the final battle between He-Man and Skeletor, brought to life in the, with the most metal character designs powerhouse animation can contain in the frame. This is the Masters of the Universe story you always wanted to see as a kid. Mattel Television is producing alongside executive producer Rob David, the vice president of Mattel TV and author of He-Man, The Eternity War writers include Eric uh, Carrasco from Supergirl, Tim Sheridan from Reign of the Superman, and uh, Dia Mishra, Magic the Gathering, and Mark Bernadin, Alphas. Castlevania's powerhouse animation will oversee animation for the series. And if you guys haven't seen Castlevania on Netflix, it looks freaking amazing. Uh, Masters of the Universe has been a cultural phenomenon for generations, inspiring fans to discover the their own power within. David said, fans of the franchise have been waiting for a continuation of these characters and Kevin Smith as a master super fan himself is the perfect champion and partner to expand the canon through the dynamic animated series on Netflix. Now guys, there's actually some subtext here that I wanna fill you in on before we start uh, getting into the panel on this. And that is that first of all, uh, there, there's a story from the Los Angeles Times, Mattel, the toy company, has created its own film division as a effort to turn you know, their toys into TV and movie offerings. Now, uh, what they're doing here is they're basically following Marvel's model where back in the early 2000s, Marvel created their own movie studio to make movies uh, off of their own IPs. And we saw how successful that was. And so Mattel, unlike Hasbro, which licensed its uh, toys out to other studios to you know, make the movies, Mattel is actually trying to produce their own thing. And this Kevin Smith um, animated series is actually part of the Mattel TV push to bring some of their stuff to life. And uh, I believe they're also working on like a Barbie's, a Barbie uh, movie and a few other, I, I'm sure we're gonna get a Magic 8-Ball movie at some point, uh, but- um, Versus He-Man. Yeah, but also in addition to Mattel kind of trying to branch out That's and- Maybe Pascal joke, by the way. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, in addition to Mattel kind, kind of trying to jump out and uh, make their own movies, uh, this is also part of the streaming wars where we're seeing Netflix really try to ramp up their offerings. This is something that would appeal to, I think, both adults and children. So it's a, it's a kind of an important linchpin for Netflix going forward in terms of original content. Because I, I know that, you know, Alex, you probably weren't born until, uh, you know, three weeks ago. But uh, <laughs> uh, for most of us, like I grew up, on He-Man. Uh, I was the biggest He-Man fan. I watched the cartoon every day. I had all the toys. Tom, I know you're a big He-Man fan. Uh, 3PO, uh, are you a, a He-Man 
uh, fan as well. I mean, I like the cartoon. Okay, so well, I'll I'll take that as as a fan base. I didn't like the Dolph Lundgren movie. <laughs> uh, I, I did watch that, it though. I, I was saw little... that on my birthday in 1985. I was so excited to see it. I walked out of the theater very disappointed because I was yeah. Like, it was like 87. When Dolph Lundgren didn't play a Russian, his movies were disappointing. He played the Punisher, <laughs> which is my favorite comic book character of all time, and I was like, "Wow, that sucked." And then, you know, he did He Man, and that just really wasn't his thing either. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, what do you have? Like, you had uh, He Man, and then you had what was that little magician Orko? Was that what you called it? I, I don't remember. Yeah, cartoon, you didn't watch the cartoon. Yeah, it's Orko. been uh, about yes, 20 years. Orko is his name. Orko, Orko. Okay. And then it what was the cat's Orko name? Or in the movie, uh, Cringer or Battle Cat. Depending. Battle Cat. That's it. And then uh, Man at Arms, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming <laughs> yeah. back. It's all coming back. So uh, it was. And then, you know, She Ra was in there at the end. And and that was that was the whole thing. So, so um, Mr. Vader. What are your thoughts on Kevin Smith being the head writer on He-Man? Um, I think he's, if anybody's going to do it, he'll do it fun. You know, it'll be, it, it could be interesting. I'm, I don't know how much of uh, Kevin Smith's uh, humor is going to be inserted into this series. But, but uh, you know, I think uh, of any 80s cartoon that could be redone, I mean, certainly He-Man is, 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 is ripe for the, uh, for the uh, reboot, right? I mean, I know lots of people who had dozens and dozens of uh, He-Man toys, and you know, you know, I missed that by a couple years. I was in high school when He-Man came out, so it wasn't really my thing. But uh, the guys a couple years younger than me all loved He-Man, and uh, I think Kevin Smith's right there, and I think he'll do a great job with it. So. You bring up an interesting point about Kevin Smith's humor. Uh, Salty, do you think that we're going to be getting scenes of He-Man trying to suck his own wiener? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he stole my joke, uh, damn it. That's the question we want to know. <laughs> yeah, Salty. Why, would, why uh, would you ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'll just say I, I'm, it's before my time. I was never really a He-Man fan, so I'm not going to try and claim – uh, being a part of a fandom or anything, but I do like all the ingredients that you have laid out. You got the animation from Castlevania, which was dope. Uh, Kevin Smith, I love his stuff. I love his writing. I love his humor, but I think he'll probably tone that down for this. Will he cry? Uh, he'll, he'll cry. Absolutely, he's going to cry. <laughs> so, uh, he, is he going to smoke a, a pound of weed before? <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and uh, and then Netflix. I, I like a lot of the uh, Netflix original stuff that they've been putting out. So, um all the ingredients are good. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Maybe this will make me into a He-Man fan. Yeah, it, 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 it is. I if, if uh, Kevin Smith doesn't insert a, a triclops joke in there somewhere, <laughs> I'm going to be disappointed. So, um, you, you know the the funny thing uh, about this is that uh, Netflix is billing it as an anime. So like this is going to like when you watch the original He-Man show, like it, it's very of its time. Um, and I'm going to kind of miss that, but it, it sounds like this is going to be geared more towards the adults who kind of grew up uh, loving He-Man. Uh, so it's going to be more adult oriented. Um, what do you think of this, this development, Tom? Because I know you're a big He-Man fan. Oh, yeah, I'm I, I'm a huge He-Man fan. And at first glance, I was like really excited. And then I wasn't so sure because of some of the things we're hearing. But I'm also a huge Kevin Smith fan, and I know he, as of late, he's gotten a lot of slack from the nerd community for, you know, basically loving everything he can and inserting himself anywhere he can. And, um, I don't know, you know, the whole crying thing and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you went and stole my joke. I'm like, yeah, now, you know, it was going to be called Chasing He Man. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Skeletor's going to be like, why am I the only one finally finding out that Prince Adam is gay? <laughs> Why am I the last one to find out anything? And where's that Orko? He's the one with the good weed. And then Jay is going to be doing Orko's voice. And he's going to be like, <laughs> snooze to the nude. And he's going to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be a no, new I... playlist show on my channel, the Orko Report. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, shit. So we have, a, we have an interesting comment from Aaron C. here who says, what's the impact on Netflix's woke She-Ra? So I might uh, say, or, just, uh, just to set the stage here, so uh, Netflix commissioned a She-Ra reboot before the He-Man reboot, and uh, uh, it was done by a bunch of uh, very radical feminist animators, I guess, and they made She-Ra look like a little boy and uh, a lot of backlash from the online community about uh, how it was treated. I haven't watched the show. I used to watch the original She-Ra show, which I thought was, was pretty good. Uh, but what do you guys think about this? How is this new He-Man going to affect uh, the She-Ra anime? I don't think they have anything to do with No, the they other. don't. Yeah, one is DreamWorks Television, which is the new sh book She-Ra. And the other one is being produced by Mattel TV, which is an offshoot, I believe, of the Mattel movies division that Matt was talking about er earlier. So they're completely two separate entities. Now, what this means is that She-Ra probably won't show up on He-Man, and He-Man's never going to show up on that She-Ra show. That's already been stated, even though she's like, oh, I'm not thinking about it. It's not so much that you're not thinking about it. It's so much that Mattel's not going to let you touch that character, trust me. And that's why. It's because that's separate license completely. And this has to do a lot of the same stuff we always report on Midnight's Edge. So I do suggest you check out our latest video if you have, want more info on that. Um, but yeah, as far as my thoughts on the show, since I didn't really get there, uh, I do think that this is going to be something interesting. Uh, Kevin Smith is a fan of a lot of things, and generally when he's a fan, he he takes care of things. He's he's come close to making a lot of things. I have a feeling that like if he would have been able to make Green, uh, Green Hornet, it would have been better than what we got. It probably similar, but better. Uh, yeah, what, are, what are the odds that Seth Rogen's going to voice Skeletor or uh, Prince Adam in this? <laughs> hey, where's Orko? He's got the weed, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the good stuff. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. And remember, if you want to support the channel, please check us out on the socials. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matthew Kadish. You can also find our discussion group over on Facebook at eggfbgroup.com. That's eggfbgroup.com. Takes you right to our Facebook discussion group. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my books over on Amazon.com. You can find them by going to kadishbooks.com. That's K-A-D-I-S-H books.com. And as always, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. For more movie, TV, and entertainment news and analysis, this is Matthew Kadish. I'll catch you guys later.